thought I'd have a go at doing my first tutorial. Uh, this is the Sin City effect in Final Cut Pro X, Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, I'll just go through it pretty quickly. Uh, we've got a clip here, as you can see, we've got some nice red blood here. I want everything else to be in black and white. So the first thing I will do is put on a mask. I'll just do very roughly uh, mask around the red area. Then if I go over here to color correction and click on that little arrow and go to saturation, I can go to outside the mask and desaturate everything. Um, already you can see how it's going to work. If I move the mask in. Now to be more picky with the color, I can use the uh, color picker. And if I hold down shift, I can pick the colors that I want to add. So I'm holding down shift while I click and click uh, the colors that I want to add. I can hold down option and get rid of colors as well, but that didn't work too well. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my mask and I'll just sort of shape that up like that. What I might do in this particular case is add two masks because unfortunately in Final Cut 10, can't pick edges or garbage masks or anything like that, so I might just add a second mask. And we'll add that one there. Rotate it a bit. Just make sure we're not getting any of that edge. Okay, and there you go, that's your basic. Uh, I'll just turn those off. That's your basic sensitivity look. Uh, now, the problem I have here is that once I've got that there, he's actually moving around. Okay, so what you can do here is very simply set keyframes. So I'm very happy with where it has been up until this point. Actually, no, it goes out to black there. So let's go right to the start, we'll set a keyframe. Uh, you can do that by selecting the mask and just clicking on the keyframe. You can do it for both of them at once. And once you've clicked on the keyframe, put the mask where you want it. Grab the second mask. Like that. It's a bit rough, but uh, I'm sure you get the idea and you'll be able to muck around with the idea. Um, okay, then I'll go to the first point where he moves away. Get my keyframes again. Grab my mask. And move it accordingly. And I'll just very quickly to finish off show you. Okay, so he moves right out of that spot. Let's have a couple more keyframes. Oops, don't want to do that. Move that over. And there we go. So now you'll see what happens as I move through the timeline. The keyframes help to move the mask with the movement of my character. And there you go. Hope you enjoy it.